Kung pwede ko lang sagutin yung confidential funds, Your Honor, gusto ko na sagutin. Kasi I've been defending DepEd since day one as the spokesperson in July 2022. So to be honest, if I could just defend DepEd now, defend the Vice President even, I would, I would. But do you have any, or would you know, for example, that such gifts are being given? Let assume, no, assuming without conceding that there's in fact given through, uh, no, out of uh, the good heart, no? Was there any point in time that you were made to also understand that this may be a regular process, that the Vice President is really giving out gifts to sovereign, uh, to the employees of the Fed? Mr. Chair. Where were you when all of this was happening? Mr. Chair, uh, again, I'm under oath. Hindi ko po alam na may ganyang pupunta sa office, binibigyan ng envelope. Uh, perhaps I need to contextualize and give you an idea of the working relationship back in DepEd then. Uh, in DepEd, I think anyone who's worked with the Vice President would know that the way she does things, it's highly compartmentalized. No? So, for example, I may be in the same office as my ASIC, who was then ASIC Paharda, but we had totally separate duties. So, what does that mean? It means that she takes care of the OSEC proper because she was already HEIA even before I came in as uh, Chief of Staff. She was already heya, no? So when I came in as Chief of Staff, the duties that were assigned to me was basically the day-to-day -day of DepEd. So meaning I would hold cluster meetings with the USEX on a weekly basis. My primary uh, marching order was to deliver on the Matatag agenda. And perhaps... Looking at it now, uh, in a very direct manner, perhaps that's also why I was never really briefed on how confidential funds were being operationalized, on how per perhaps that's why even when I came in as Chief of Staff, I was not made SDO or signatory or anything. The only time I can honestly say that I encountered uh, looking into the reports of confidential funds was when we were already issued an AOM. And at that time, I was also not just Chief of Staff, but I was OIC Finance. And so, it was within my purview to address and uh, respond to the AOM. I know it is very hard to maybe fathom or imagine na bakit hindi mo alam tong mga ganito. But I, I think anyone in DepEd and my DepEd family is here, they would know how compartmentalized uh, we were at that time. In fact, coming into these congressional hearings, and to be very honest with you, sir, uh, Mr. Chair, Kung pwede ko lang sagutin yung confidential funds, Your Honor, gusto ko na sagutin. Kasi I've been defending DepEd since day one as the spokesperson in July 2022. So to be honest, if I could just defend DepEd now, defend the Vice President even, I would, I would. But uh, that's why I came here when they asked me anything. Minsan sabihin pa nga sa'yo, why did you admit, why did you? But that's the truth. And I just want to be here and tell the truth. Ngayon, pag hindi ko talaga alam, I would say hindi ko talaga alam. 